It is I, Michael, and today you join me on a journey in South Dublin. At the minute, we're in Ticknock Forest Park, which is about 30 minutes from the city centre, close to 12 kilometres away. It's not a far journey, but it takes a while to get here. Very steep incline and windy roads, but it's rather lovely. They have a really nice amount of parking available. The walk surrounding the area is huge and it's well, it's relatively well paved. There's a lot of mountain biking trails and there's even a mountain bike hire shop. And it's really good. I'll show you a bit more of it and hopefully you guys are inspired to come here one of the days. It's far better than Wicklow because that gets very, very overpacked very quickly. Having said all of that, the trail here is pretty massive. We have a lot of area to walk around and well, as you see those mountains behind me, you can go in there and just cycle through it or just walk around. Some really sunny shots are available to be made here during sunrise and sunset with the light going through the trees. One other addition is that the ground, the ground, the pavement is very rocky and very loose. This makes it a tiny bit dangerous depending on your footwear and you do need to be able-bodied to be here. Keep that in mind. Something out of reach Realize I'm found Oh, the lessons I would teach Oh, stay young Stay a while Remain on top for a little while Won't you stay young Won't you stay young We're in one of these mountain bike trail areas within the forest and it's phenomenal. The tree branches, the smell, that whole area is so cool. We're not sure where we're walking, we're just going uphill because we know there is a path on the other side of this small part of the forest, so. I'm finishing up my time here in Ticknock since I have a long day planned with many different places. So, what are my takes from this? One positive is there's plenty of parking. It's not overcrowded. There is a lot of walking and mountain bike trails. There is so much. There is a mountain bike rental store right at the bottom by the car park. Fantastic, you don't need, even need your own mountain bike to go here. And there's so much riding to do. There's a lot of walking huge amount of nature, like undisturbed nature, with plants, animals, birds, mm -hmm. lots of things. Places to kind of, I guess, put a hammock and day camp, kind of relax. So plenty of do here. Now a few semi-cons of this location. Well, there's a lot of trees. So when it's not super sunny, like it's about 24 degrees Celsius right now, it will be cold. That's one kind of negative. However, 
when the weather is nice, this is fantastic. Another con is some of the trails, some of the paths are unpaved. In other words, it's just dirt and loose rock, so you do need to be careful. Having said all of that and keeping all of that in mind, this is a lovely area. You can spend most of a day, half a day, or even just a few hours here, and it's a worthwhile stop. It's completely free. And like I said, about 30 minutes south of Dublin city centre.